Welcome YouTube Mastery members. I am Steve Pollitt. Let's get started with video number five with powerful tools and techniques that will help your business and your networks. In this video, if you do not have enough video content for your websites or blogs, or you have no videos at all of your own, you will learn very effective technology for using someone else's video and adding your own personal annotations. Let's get started with a very specific example. This is a blog that I work on for Temple Hayes. It's templehayesblog.com. She's the founder of uh, a nonprofit initiative that I'm part of, which is called liferights.com. In working on this, I found a video that I liked, and I wanted to add it to her blog. And it's this particular video right here. And what you will notice um, that I have already paused this on an annotation. This annotation simply says, please join me as I am now leading out loud for life rights. To start, register at this site, Blessings Temple Hayes. Notice that it's a very soft call to action asking people to register at this site. And once that annotation is, is up there for a few minutes, it fades away. Okay, that's a pretty cool video, but this is about teaching you uh, all about YouTube and learning how to use YouTube for your business and networks. How did I do that? I'm going to show you. Bubbleply.com. Bubbleply.com. First thing you want to do is register for an account. It's free. I've already done that, and I am logged into my account. The second thing that you do is you find a video that you like and you cut and copy and paste the URL of that video right into this section here and click next. When you do that, your video will, will appear in your account for adding the annotations. I'm going to move right to this video where I've already added this video to my Bubbleply account and you'll see um, this, the, there, there's, there's some there's a scroll bar, as well as a um, uh, as well as a bar for uh, editing the video. So what we're going to do is we're going to start the video again. And I'm going to pause it because now I'm going to want to add an annotation. So how do I do that? I go up here where it says Add Bubble. Okay, and I'm going to select a rectangle. And I'm going to t type um, visit liferights.com. Okay. Now I'm going to adjust this particular rectangle to suit the size of the content. I'm going to move it to where I want it to appear in the video. I then move up here to this little clock where it says timing and I decide how long I want the annotation to run. I want it to start right now so I don't make any adjustments to the first um, f to the first box. The second box is the duration and this is really up to you. I've been using anywhere from 12 to 20 seconds and that's really a variable for you to decide. So I select my time I click out of that and you'll notice this red bar right here reflecting the timeline for the annotation. Now I'm going to do a couple other things. I'm going to make this a live link. So I add the link, if I spelled that correctly. And, and I'm done. So now this is a live link when, um, when, the, when the video is published. 
When I'm all done with my annotations, I click Done, and it's now uh, saving my work, and it starts playing it. And you'll see that that annotation now appears. Okay, so there you go. Very, very straightforward and easy to do. Now, this is an important step. The link is now new for Bubbleply. And here's the embedded video and bubbles in your site. So when you are finished with your annotations, you copy and paste this code, this code, into your site. And as an example, I'm going to click back on to Temple site. This is the uh, back end of the templehazeblog.com site and specifically that particular post and you can see that there's something there okay now what I've what I've done is when I posted when I embedded the code I used the HTML editor on the WordPress blog in the back end and just copy and pasted that code right into there Okay, now I wasn't quite done, uh, and I'll just mention this very briefly. We'll go over some more of these details in a later session. But I added a, add, added a description with keywords um, because the search engines don't read video; they read text. So I added keyword descriptions for that, and and I clicked uh, when it was finished. I I'm finished. I click save, and And then I'm finished with this particular um, add-on to the site. And that's really all there is to it. To summarize, we have bubbleply.com. We copy and paste a URL from YouTube or Google Video into Bubbleply. We click Next. We follow the directions and add our annotations. When we're finished, we copy and paste the embedded code and add it to our blog or our website. Now, if you're not real familiar with adding codes to blogs and websites, that's okay. Um, I will cover that very soon, but for now, I wanted to give you an idea of how that is done.